Hello and welcome to the next Lukaiser PC game review video. And for this one, it shouldn't really be any sort of surprise. I've already done a few table reviews uh, using this. So this is Pinball FX3, which believe it or not, is the sequel to Pinball FX2. So, first things first then, uh, this uh, main page, when I first uh, uh, started playing this, I did find it a bit cumbersome, a bit uh, clunky, but I have since got used to it, in, in, in fact it's not too bad, so all of your uh, options, you know, as far as graphics, audio and whatever, all there. The leaderboards for each of the tables, all in this section. As you can see, when it comes to Wild West Rampage, yep, down in fourth, a long way down at that. Uh, then you have, uh, well, various uh, sort of game types. So here we have the tournaments which can be set by either Zen themselves, this one here, the ET 35th anniversary, that is one that Zen have set, but you can also create your own tournaments and you can, uh, you can either make them public or you can lock them so that only, uh, you know, a select few can play them and whatever. Finished tournaments. The finished tournaments, I always thought only, uh, shows the, the tournaments that um, you took part in, but no, it seems to have them all here. Well, that means that's going to be enormous at some point, so yeah, I'm not too sure about that. And then to create the tournament, just here, it's all pretty self-explanatory, how long you want it to run, uh, whether it's uh, open or private, uh, which rules, and whether people can use, well, powers and upgrade slots, I will come back to when it comes to actually covering the game. Then there is this uh, match-up, which uh, when it finally loads, there we go, it's basically a league, so uh, you, um, yeah, it's, I mean, it has promotion and relegation, believe it or not, so uh, I am in uh, Bronze 2, the lowest one is Bronze 3, you see a lot of people just haven't bothered and I can't say I blame them it's 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 a more of a novelty or anything but what, what you do you play each of the tables so I have the choice between uh, Castle Storm, Family Guy, Fallout and World War Hulk you play them for five minutes with uh, basically unlimited lives and um, yeah uh, the highest the higher score uh, yeah, the more of these uh, points for the uh, table you get. And you have to finish in the top 20% of all players to um, be promoted to the next... Uh, uh, the next league, which will be Bronze 1. And uh, if you don't get enough points, um, you can even drop down, be relegated to uh, Bronze 3. So I've basically had a few goes, I think I've had two goes of each uh, table, so I've got 330 lead points, that's enough to make sure I'll stay in this one, but yeah, I'm not really that fussed about uh, advancing any. Main menu. Uh, now before I go into the single player where we choose the tables, um, there is also your profile, so it has stats galore, so if you're anything like me, because I'm a cricket fan, I do like uh, my stats, providing they are, you know, worthwhile. And there's, there's no point having pointless stats collected. So and then you compare yourself against uh, everybody on uh, your Steam list who has the game. So uh, took a little while for this to actually get going. Um, it was a couple of weeks before some of the big name players like Blinky uh, showed up. And uh, Data's Dart here, don't 
think that, you know, he's crap because he's way down here uh, with a wizard score of zero. Um, in fact, his goes last so long that he usually has to save them uh, midway. So, uh, yeah, at the moment he may be bottom, but, um, yeah, it will be, it's, it's a matter of... Uh, Yeah, a day or two, and he'll be posting scores in the billions. So, uh, yeah. Table uh, the table mastery, the more of these, like, uh, mastery points you get, uh, you then unlock, if I just uh, show you here, you unlock uh, these, yes, mastery rewards, which are, well, and they're, they're nothing more than a gimmick, to be honest. So this is Max from uh, Epic Quest, and then the next one is the uh, yeah the carnivorous flower. So um, hmm. uh, let's see, if we filter it out. So okay, so now these are just all of them that I have unlocked. So we have the sorcerer from Sorcerer's Lair. And the Miss Demon, I think they're the only two, yeah. The rest, or the next ones, yeah, these are from uh, Portal. I've unlocked quite a few from Portal, which is hardly surprising because I've scored 472 million on that, so yeah, I did okay. So yeah, so we've got Atlas and Peabody, and surprise, surprise, GLaDOS. And then uh, we have the still image of GLaDOS there. I think there's two more I need to unlock to have done all of them on the uh, uh, portal. So I can't believe I've unlocked Stan from American Dad. Anyway, so then we have the uh, 1885 DeLorean from Back to the Future and then the 2015 one. And we have Anakin Skywalker from the Clone Wars. Don't look fuck all like him. Mind you, it's better than any of the faces in the uh, F1 2017. Uh, I cannot for the life of me uh, remember who the fuck that is. What fucking table is that from? Um, cause I, yeah, I don't recognise it at all. Uh, okay, so it's from Ant-Man. Yeah, no wonder I don't recognise it. Oh, bollocks. Yeah. So, um, I mean, but, I mean, again, it certainly looks better than, uh, any of the faces and that of, um, you know, in, uh, F1 2017. Then again, this one of Max looks more like a fucking human being than anyone in, uh, F1 2017. So, anyway, yeah, so the table mastery is really just a bit of a gimmick. Uh, same with the achievements, it's just the same as, you know, all the other Steam achievements and uh, I'm sure like, you know, Xbox and PlayStation, whatever, uh, has all of that as well. And then the customization, which uh, is, is basically, well, the frame around your picture, then the background, and uh, when you do you eventually get the badges, you can add them, and it's just, yeah, you know, again, it's just a bit of a gimmicky thing, but for some reason I've got into the habit of always updating mine, so every time I get up to a level, as you can see I'm at level 30, I always change the frame and the backgrounds to those of that particular level, so. No, I don't know why, I just do it. Then you have like the options here for uh, quick play. Um, so yeah, it always has the tutorial as the first one here, and then uh, all of the rest. Okay, it's uh, showing to unlock the Tony Stark uh, achievement on Iron Man. You can unlock it. Try it now. No, I fucking hate. You've got to complete every mission on that table to get that achievement. I've never come close to that. And then challenge and wage collect stars in the one ball challenge on Spider-Man. Yeah, so two of the uh, the three that always change uh, pointing out Spider-Man, which is hardly surprising because that is currently the only table I have not played in uh, FX3. Oops, no, I didn't want to do that. Uh, then onto the news. The news 
currently doesn't really tell you much more other than you know a certain player has uh, you know reached a certain score or unlocked a certain achievement and blah de blah. Uh, so yeah, I mean it's too early days. Um, mm, yeah, so. Anyway, let's get on with the the uh, the main uh, area of the game. So the good news with uh, FX3 is that most tables from FX2 can be imported into it. Uh, there's currently uh, well, there are four tables that will not be imported into uh, FX3 at all. They are the two South Park tables from FX2. I am not remotely sorry about that. Uh, then there is the um, Plants vs Zombies table and the Misplosion Man uh, table. They won't be coming here either. I've already covered those tables in the mini reviews if you really want to take a look at them. Um, there is one other table that is currently not here uh, from FX2 which is Super League Football. That is in the process of being redone, uh, essentially a complete remake of it. Uh, so that is coming to uh, FX3, but it's not here yet. In fact, at the moment, you can't even buy it for FX2 either. Uh, I assume that is entirely down to licensing reasons. That's also the reason why those four other tables that are not coming here um, are not going to do so because of licensing uh, issues and with the uh, um, Super League football one it's totally understandable because you know the five uh, uh, businesses sorry uh, football clubs no I was right first time the five businesses you know these ones that can afford to play each of their players at least a hundred grand a fucking week but no, they're not getting enough money from this. They're insisting on more money. I think they can all just go fuck themselves. But uh, anyway, um, so I mean, there's still plenty of tables that have uh, been brought over from FX2. Uh, you do get one free table. It is Sorcerer's Lair again, but you do at least get one free table, which is, you know, quite handy considering the game is free. So you are going to be able to play the game right from the get-go. There are currently three tables which are FX3 only, and they are these three in the Universal Classics uh, pinball set. So we have tables based on Back to the Future, Jaws and E.T. I have to say, those are some unusual choices for pinball tables. But, uh, oh well. Uh, but, uh, yeah, all the, other, all the rest are here. So, um, yeah, if you already have FX2 and already have a few tables, then buying uh, pinball FX3 is not going to leave you, you know, short of tables uh, to be uh, playing the game with. Now, as I'm sure you all know, I am doing uh, review videos of all uh, tables. So, obviously, I've got to play, you know, some of the tables here um, to show you how the game uh, is played. This is not going to be a review of the particular tables. This is just me showing you, uh, you know, how the game plays and that. So, uh, you know, the table review will come later. So we may as well start with uh, a review of... Uh, well, no, no, not a review. I've just sat here fucking saying, no, I'm not going to review the table. And then I say, right, let's start with a review of a table. So let's start then with a uh, go of one of the tables that is an FX3 exclusive. To the future. Now with uh, each of the uh, tables in the game, there are a number of, thing, number of things that you can do which 
I don't think I is going to impress the purists very much. Which are these upgrades. upgrades. Now as you play the game regularly, all of these various upgrades down here, the passive upgrades, their levels get uh, bumped up further and further. And you get score bonuses as a result. Now you can use two uh, of the, or any two you like, providing you've unlocked them first. So for this one I have uh, the level 8 bumpers upgrade, which means I get 320% uh, bonus uh, for each bumper score. I also get 100% bonus during any multiple session. So basically my scores are doubled on that, which is not bad. I've only got level 1 on the uh, skill shot. I'm pretty fucking hopeless at the skill shot on this table. Uh, I've only ever hit it once. Uh, level uh, 6 here is for the uh, the ball, uh, ball uh, save. I'll get this out in a minute. The ball save. Uh, so the ball save feature will actually last a bit longer if you've got this selected. If you haven't, it'll just stay the, the regular length. This one, you get points bonus just for having the ball moving around the table. So uh, I would score 35,000 for each 10 yards the ball travels. Which sounds okay, but I, I don't bother using it. And then this one, uh, the combo timer. It increases the length of time that the uh, ramps are active to allow you to score um, yeah, ramp combos. It doesn't actually give you any score bonus, same as the uh, the ball uh, the ball saver one there. So um, yeah, but it, it does allow you to you, you you can take more time to get the uh, the combos uh, on the ramps. I again don't bother with that purely because it doesn't give you any extra score. So uh, yeah, so I have the uh, the bumper one and the multiple one selected. Now these ones up here, the wizard power, these are a bit different. These ones have to be activated during the game. So first of all it's the uh, slow down, uh, or the slow motion uh, wizard power. So you activate this and uh, the table runs in slow motion for two seconds. That's only because it's level one. The next level you can uh, slow it down for four seconds and so on and so on. This one here is the score boost, so if I activate this, again it's only level 1, so uh, the score is multiplied by 2 for a maximum of 5 seconds. That's not bad. And then this one here is the rewind, it allows you to re reverse time. So, say for example, a ball is about to go out. You can then reverse time, bump the table, and stop that ball from going out. I haven't unlocked this one yet, um, but the first level I will be able to rewind uh, to a maximum of one second. Which isn't very far, but uh, you know, how far do you need it to go? As I say, the more you uh, upgrade it, the longer you will be able to go back uh, by. Now, wizard uh, powers are obtained by doing the challenges. So the first one here, the one ball challenge, speaks for itself. You have just one life. You cannot get extra balls, as it says at the bottom here. Extra balls only gives you a score. Now, amazingly, I managed to score 139,398,391 on the one time I did the one ball challenge. My score regularly is only 148 million, so I did yeah, 148,851,000. So I did fucking well on that go, and I was a bit pissed off that I did it <laughs> on the one ball challenge rather than the regular go. Anyway, so that was what allowed me to uh, unlock the uh, slow motion. Um, as you reach set scores, you will get uh, these stars that it uh, has highlighted there. Once you've got five stars, you've unlocked that wizard power. So here, the five minute challenge, again, self-explanatory. You play the game with unlimited uh, lives, 
for five minutes to try to amass the high score you can you can possibly do. I had a really shit go actually, 30.7 million. Uh, I can tell you Blinky's score there is pretty shit. Uh, but 33.8 million, I suspect that's got him all 15 of the stars, so I doubt he'll bother with that again. And then the survival challenge I haven't tried yet. Um, you basically have to reach uh, a set target score within a set time. Uh, so you have unlimited lives. In fact, let's choose this one. This will allow me to unlock the uh, time reverse uh, once I've reached five stars, which I don't use. The destination time. 1955 part two. No, I won't. 1985 alternative. 1985. Right. Now you see at the bottom there, it's highlighting. If I press Y, I will double my score. If shoot the ball, why not do it with some skill? But that only works for two seconds. I don't need to experiment. do it yet. This is the big one, the one I've been waiting for all my life. So I have to get, fuck it hell, I have to get 880,000 and then I'm on to uh, level 2, I've got 45, 44, 43 Good seconds, I'm there we go, so first, tar first target has been reached, so now I have to get 3.5 million All right. for we're the next the, uh, one. We're the pinheads. I'm not going to use the double score for a little bit yet. Sucker's electrical, but I need a nuclear reaction to generate the 1.21 gigawatts of electricity I need. Well, I've got the uh, got that thing hooked up to this bonus car. multiplier, but I don't need that. Not on this mode. This is what makes time travel possible. The flux capacitor. Ah, fucked up both times there. So I'm already on to trying to get the third target, which is 6.1 million. Oops. Lightning reflexes there, that was fucking close. This is quite a high scoring table I've uh, chosen here. Oh, fuck it, hell, I need that. So, my next target is eight and three quarter million. I've got 45 seconds left to do it. Should be able to do that. This is what makes time travel possible. The flux capacitor. All right, that's two balls locked. We just bought us some time. Not me, the car, the car! Alright, next target then is uh, 12.25 uh, million, but I have now unlocked the uh, time rewind thing, which I can now select. You disintegrated Einstein! Calm down, Marty, I didn't disintegrate anything! Wait a minute, Doc. Are you telling me you've got the time machine? Uh, That's That's right. not the difficult. Here we go, ball three locked. So, it's the flux capacitor multi-ball. It was uh, underway. And fucked it right up. This is a good time to uh, use the uh, multiplier. There we go. The uh, multiplier again. Wasted it a bit. You see, I'm scoring millions all over the fucking place. Skateboard multi ball. And another multi ball. Now you'll notice that the multi balls do run genuinely uh, concurrently, and you end up, or you can end up, with like about five or six balls all over the table. The most I've ever had is seven 
and you can see it is absolute fucking chaos scores appearing everywhere and now you can see why I was scoring so fucking heavily uh, <laughs> well my the uh, high scorer anyway was so fucking high 148 million that was my first ever go on the table as well Okay, well there you go, so that's the end of the uh, uh, multi-ball, but I've already got the maximum stars, which is 15, so now I am just purely playing for score. I have uh, 39 seconds, I need to get another 3.3 million. But all of the uh, modes have ended, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to score this. In a way, it won't be that terrible if I don't, because otherwise this go could go on for a fucking long time. Input the destination time. Yeah, so I'm down to two, one, zero. That's time up. You have leveled up an upgrade of this table. So there we go. I've uh, unlocked the uh, ball rewind. Um, also leveled up the uh, upgrades that I already had so now okay the uh, multi ball is still at max so that can't go up but the uh, bumpers are now up to level 9 and yes I now have the uh, ball rewind uh, feature as well but I don't use it I stick with the uh, the score boost one for obvious reasons now like I say the the purists are probably not going to be um, so keen on this which isn't that big a surprise but the good news is if we go on to the single player there is a classic single player mode and with this none of those upgrades and wizard powers and everything can be used it is just playing the regular table so, you know, you're okay there. There's also the hot seat, which is your local uh, multiplayer mode. So, uh, yeah, it allows up to four players. And then the practice, which... Uh, if you haven't bought the table, you can still uh, play the practice mode. You can play it for up to an hour, but your scores are not saved. So, neither are achievements or anything like that. You don't unlock any of your... your uh, upgrades or anything so if we go on to uh, the single player mode then this is the regular uh, game but with uh, the upgrades available to me Let's see how we do here now you may have noticed that uh, there is a little bit of slowdown during this game it's a bit more graphically uh, intense than uh, I don't even try. Um, yeah, so the game is a bit more graphically intensive than uh, the first Pinball, or no, Pinball FX2. And as a result, there is some slowdown during, uh, during play, especially when you have a lot of scores uh, coming up. Good evening, I'm Dr. Emmett Brown. I'm standing on the parking lot at Twin Pines Mall. And to be honest, slowdown in a pinball game is far from ideal. The sucker's electrical, but I need a nuclear reaction to generate the 1.21 gigawatts of electricity I need. This is what makes time travel possible. The flux capacitor. Oh, Lightning this? reflexes there. The car, the car. Dog. Oh, okay. It's typical. During things like one ball mode and all, all that, yeah, I, I can, you know, score fuck knows how many points, no problem. When I play the regular game, yeah, different fucking matter then. 
Iceman occurred exactly at 1.20 a.m. Oh, okay. and 0 seconds! Doc, you disintegrated Einstein! Damn! I'm late for school! Calm down, Marty, I didn't disintegrate anything! Wait a minute, Doc. Are you telling me you built a time machine? Oh, fucking what a god! The way I see it, if you're gonna build a time machine into a car, why not do it with some style? So, after the first ball, 10.7 million, which is shit. Uh, I'll have a go at doing the, uh, yeah, completely fucked it. I'm not even sure what I'm actually aiming at with the uh, skill shot there. No, oh, you can't. And oh, I was sure that was going straight out. Here we go, now, one thing uh, you may have spotted, and to be honest, it's something I do not like, is that uh, those side bumpers are now a lot stronger. Now, for quite a few of the more recent um, uh, table packs in uh, Pinball FX2, all of those bumpers were getting uh, powerful, which I don't like. And uh, now, even the uh, earlier tables. The destination time. 1955, part two. 1985 alternative. 1955. Right, yeah, we'll do that one. But yeah, now all of the tables have those overpowered bumpers, including the uh, tables brought in from uh, FX2 that didn't have that. Uh, you just take care of your pump. Oh, you fuck. Okay. But, uh, yeah, the the frustration is still here. It's not as frustrating as FX2 yet. Fuck it. I'll also point out there are, there are two ways of actually launching the ball. You can just press the maximum and, you know, say bollocks to attempting the skill shot. Or you can uh, pull back on uh, the second stick and. Uh, Tell me anything! I'm from the future. Oh. I came here in a time machine that you invented. Now I need your help to get Yeah, you can pull back on the stick and select how hard you uh, hit the ball. I haven't invented any time machine. Doc! Alright, guys, listen, this is Blues Riff and B. Watch me for the changes and try to keep up, okay? Whoa, whoa, Biff! What's that? It works! <laughs> It works! Oh, you I fuck not again! Okay, I got the relaunch. Where is that kid? See, on the uh, single ball, I'd got the fucking uh, damn, damn. flux capacitor multiple already. But here, oh, I've finally been able to lock uh, one of the balls. Oh no, two. But I'm still nowhere near getting the uh, multi-ball actually started, and that's where I get the big points. Oh, that's this uh, is what makes time travel possible. The flux capacitor. How to time multi-ball? Right. Oh, this uh, will help. Um, didn't actually mean to start the uh, multiplier there, the score multiplier. Whoa, whoa, Biff. What's that? Well, that didn't last fucking long. Good job I had that relaunch. Okay, so now I've got the flux capacitor mul uh, multiplier. This might help a bit. Whoa, 
whoa, Biff. What's that? We just bought us some time! Can't use the multiplier anymore. Looks like I've got to wait for the cooldown or something to stop. As it is, the uh, oh, I thought the multi ball had ended. Out of time, multi -ball. Well, another fucking multi ball started, so now I've got four. And this is really oh, is where it yeah. comes What's hitting that? the hope. Back to you, all right? Oh, fuck it, hell. Two of them just went straight out. Yeah, you saw a bit of a slowdown there. Alright, well, that's, uh, I don't know how well I did in those, uh, multiples there. Engine running. All right. We just bought us some time. This is what makes time travel possible. The flux capacitor. Skateboard multiball. Okay, now, so again, I've now got numerous multiballs going on at the same time. I've got to hit that fucking skateboard. There we go. Possible. Oh, fucking. So, I just caught sight of my score, 57 million. It's not that great, actually, especially when you consider how often I've got the uh, multiples uh, underway for. That oh, okay. I thought that was going straight fucking out. We just bought us some time. Right. This is what makes time travel possible. The flux capacitor. Gigawatts! Great Scott! What the hell is a gigawatt? Oh, bollocks. There we go. I can't get the uh, balls. I can, I'm trying to launch them in there. As long as you hit that wire, we'll I've got one more target to hit. Or well, one more ramp I've got to hit. Fuck you, I'll put some more at that. Now that flashing line, not that one. That's... So it's the lane where the DeLorean's parked. I've got to hit the DeLorean. Oh, fuck it. The full freeze lock, so now I've got the fuck there. Yeah, flux capacitor multiple again. And straight away, one went straight out. Still can't use the uh, time... Uh, well, the uh, score multiplier. Now, yeah, scores are going fucking insane. I mean, what is it? That's what five, six balls all 
being launched all over the fucking place. I'm now some nine million or so away from my best ever go. Now it is my best ever go. Score 158 million, so I've beaten my previous best by 10 million, which actually is not as much as I thought it would be. Right, I can't remember where the extra ball is. Fuck it, I'm up there. This is what makes time travel possible. The flux capacitor. Oh, I see where the extra ball is. I bet you I don't fucking hit it. Only just missed it. Skateboard multi ball. Oh, just for a change, another multi ball. Not that I mind getting multi balls because it means I can score huge numbers of points. going straight out so fuck that up still haven't hit them at the uh, extra ball well I hit the DeLorean but the extra ball is right next to it that one I left too fucking long oh, that was fucking close Completed that in mode. Destination Next time. destination. 1855, part two. 1885. Uh, 2015. Yeah, we'll do 2015. I'll do them in order. Well, in order of the films. At 4:29 p.m. on Wednesday, October 21st, 2015. Get the extra ball. Yes, an extra Yeah, I'm ball. trying to get it. Oh, I... You mean we're in the future? The answer is no, Griff. The answer is no, Griff. Exactly. Two minutes. You go round the corner into the cafe 80s. It sounded like it said I got the extra ball, but uh, the extra Answer's ball no is risk. still lit. Unless that means that uh, Wait for a guy there's another one I can get. Well, this go is going on for a hell of a lot longer than I thought, so let's get the review underway then. Graphics, um, the graphics throughout all of the tables are great. There are graphical enhancements of uh, all of the uh, tables. So those tables that were in uh, FX2, they have been enhanced uh, graphically. In some cases, the audio has been changed slightly, mostly for the better. Years of sports statistics, hardly recreational reading material, Marty. And uh, further than that, right, Scott, Marty, I didn't invent the time machine uh, for financial gain. The actual layout has been changed. In some cases, the table plays quite differently to uh, how it would uh, in FX2. Total bonus of 50 million, so I'm up to 217 million. Do it with some skill. And I have the uh, extra ball. This is what makes time travel possible. 
The flux capacitor. Um, so anyway, as I've mentioned, <laughs> as I've mentioned, uh, as I've mentioned the audio, um, the audio is every bit as good as uh, it was in the uh, FX2. They were always fine, you know, I wouldn't have said they really needed improvements, but they have been improved. So, yeah, they're, they're just as good as always. And I've just now got yet another extra ball. So, um, after this goes out, I've got two extra balls <laughs> to uh, go. Again. Yeah, look at... <laughs> <laughs> fucking scores are going absolutely insane. I've just scored 24 million for hitting one target. Fucking hell, even the... Uh, even Portal didn't go that mad. I scored 470 something million in Portal. Uh, at this rate, I'm gonna fucking beat that. I've also just noticed I can get another extra ball. Fucking hell, this... <laughs> uh, this uh, review is going on far, <laughs> far longer <laughs> than I ever thought it would. That's... Okay, I thought that was going straight out. There are probably some of you watching this who wish it would. <laughs> So anyway, um, well, I've covered graphics, I've covered audio, gameplay, yes, the gameplay is the same as FX2, but with, uh, <laughs> that's the third extra ball that I still have available to me. I've already used one, but I've got three more. This is heavy. Now two more. Um, yeah, so, uh, the gameplay has been tweaked. Uh, when the ball goes down the left drains, it is actually easier to bump it back into play. I'm not saying easy, I'm saying it's easier. There's a difference. No, I'm just going to fire it in. So there's two particular ramps I need to hit. I need to get those fucking flashing ramps, but, uh, yeah. So, it is actually... Why are, okay, I haven't got a lot of... You must be extremely careful not to run into your other self! Not a lot of time left, as far as I am aware. Are you two related? Oh, fucking well, okay. So those targets are gonna keep getting in the way. Are you two related? Oh, I need to hit the fucking yeah. Bonus multipliers. You two related? And that's gone straight out. Oh no, I've got the relaunch again. We just bought us some time. I have to say uh, the the voice of uh, uh, Doc, whatever his name is, Doc okay. Brown, in it uh, doesn't sound much like. Uh, uh, I, uh, Christopher Lloyd. If you're gonna shoot the ball, why not I think do this is the skill? final ball. Are you two related? And I've chosen a real duff level here. Hoverboard multi ball. Oh. You two That's a surprise, another multi ball. Ooh, 
I just can't hit the fucking ramps to get me the uh, uh, jackpots. Okay, that was handy. He's got the book, the old man's gone too. Handy, they bug it off. Ah, uh, well, it's a Dorian, right? Oh, fucking hell. Oh, there we go, that's one of the jackpots. I gotta go! I got one chance! My old man's about to deck this! Right. Is that, uh, is that it? Don't tell me I've got another extra ball. I'm sure that's all of them. My concentration was seriously starting to wane, so I kind of hope that I don't have another extra ball. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, I'm getting more millions. Oh, it's another multi. <laughs> oh, fuck it, hell. Yeah, so after this, there's only one more place I can go. No, this can't be happening. I'm afraid it is happening, Marty. All of it. Listen, I'm just in the wrong house. Get the, oh, there you go. Okay. Now that must surely be the final, uh, final ball. Shark still there we big. go. Final score: four hundred and twenty-five point nine million. And that's still not the highest score I've got on any table. No shit. So, um, right, well, the two upgrades that I use are maxed. The wizard power, yeah, I, I wasted that basically. But, uh, you know, uh, what a surprise, I'm up to level 31. Let's see what customization I have now then. So, uh, right, so, yeah, that's level 31 frame. 
that is the level 31 background. I still can't do the badge yet, don't know why. There we go. Well, that certainly uh, beat my previous uh, high on this table. So I went from 148.8 million to 425.6 million. Didn't mean to do that. Game paused. Uh, Single player and hot seat. So, well, there we go. So I'm now back on top of here. I think it's going to be a while before I get anywhere near beating that again. But again, I didn't beat it the first My time. Collection. The highest score I've ever got anywhere on, uh, well, FX3 and FX2 <laughs> is Portal. <laughs> there you can see, high score 472.9 million. That go went on for an eternity. And um, that's not the only 400 million... Uh, I've also got Levels one on, as you can see, champions. champions. Only just 401.6 million. But that's three scores in the 400 millions now. I can't believe it. Anyway, um, so yeah, as you can see, uh, it's um, a graphically improved uh, version of FX2. The audio is improved as well. And uh, the actual gameplay has improved somewhat um, it just seems to have more of a flow of course there's always going to be the occasional table which is an exception to that and uh, one does spring to mind which I will review at some point but yeah it just as well as looks and sounds better it does play better than uh, FX2 uh, so initially I thought this uh, uh, main page here and the actual interface was a bit clunky but I have got used to it uh, and there's that so um, yeah I am a fan of it uh, I score this 8 out of 10 and uh, like I said with FX2 it's free the free table is Sorcerer's Lair again but nevertheless it is a free table and um, yeah so considering it's free you can't really go wrong. Uh, so that is uh, Pinball FX3. 8 out of 10. Um, yeah, it's pretty good stuff. And it's free. Although if you do find yourself becoming quite a fan and buying all of the uh, TLC for the uh, various uh, additional tables, it can work out to be a bit pricey. Anyway, that uh, brings this review to an end, a review which went on for far longer than I expected because I didn't think my go on uh, uh, the Back to the Future table would last that fucking long. But it's done now, so yeah, that brings this review to an end and uh, I'll see you at the next one, whatever that's going to be.